Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Edui campaign here on Europa Barbarum 2. So, we just took out Lebanon, which does increase our finances once more, so now we can actually support a little bit more. Now, I certainly want this capital, and then I want butter models. Uh, but first we need to get through this army from the uh, Arverni. Now, let me see what they actually have here. I think it's a powerful army, so I gotta be careful with that. Condate has nothing, you know, has a couple of Celtic archers, his faction leader, and one fierce sword. That shouldn't take too much. Um, yeah, so here, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave one unit of Butteroy back. Uh, should I leave the Butteroy? Yes, I should. And just move out into the bridge. I hope they will try to attack me on the bridge. Because certainly, that's gonna be a much better for me, of course. Now, Seleucids, of course, they're trying to, you know, they're making out all of their moves, uh, which take a long time. Now, I don't know if the Arverni are going to counterattack or they're going to try and, you know, attack me. They are going to counterattack. Look, they're going to go against Otricon. I think I can move into Condate and take it out before they can actually take my city of Altricon there. And nevertheless, yeah, it's just an allied city, so why not? Why not? That seems to be a good idea. Now, certainly here I need to, you know, go and defend. This I need to move here. Uh, these units, yeah, I guess so. And this guy, I think I can go and attack Condit. Uh, pretty much at the same time that he's gonna try and do some damage here. So he might get Autricon, but I will get his affection leader. And yeah, he's probably gonna have some troubles here, which is good for me. Well, let's repair this stuff. Uh, can I build anything at all? No, no, no. No armor zone to as well, nothing. I could recruit some units, but not that I actually need them. Uh, okay, this army is going to move in with this guy. Let me check my diplomat once more. This guy is wandering around pretty well. Oh, I found something. Allies and allies, it's fine. There's a lot of units here. The Batian horse archers, that's interesting. But oh well. Let's see what happens, shall we? I do need an extra unit here. I do need an extra unit. Should I hire it? Well, I cannot. Let's just end up to turn and see what happens. If I can besiege Condate, then maybe I can kill them before they can actually besiege Otricon effectively. I don't know, they'll probably attack uh, Otricon or something. Don't know how it's gonna happen. Did, the, did they already have the turn? I think they did. They didn't attack, actually. Sharp, uncharismatic. Okay. Hmm. Okay, sharp. He's really well in terms of. This man's high intelligence. Eh, he's gonna be good in management, mathematics, and tactics. He's not be gonna be a good, inspiring leader. And he's vigorous, so he can get, you know, brave stuff. That's good. Green, new tribesman, Imbo Logerson. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I wonder if I should go with this guy. Well, he's actually really bad, so no. No problem. End of turn there. Construction report on Lemonon. Now, I could go with the river port, I could go with the protectorate. And I think I'm gonna do just that. Protectorate. For more, you know, for my gold. For my gold. Now, I could use a couple of more units here. Uh, certainly, certainly a combatant would be nice. Can I move it there? Well, I'm gonna actually besiege these guys first. Maintain the siege there. Oh, there's some units here. That's fine. They actually didn't attack here, but 
Now there, I'm gonna have to move through this area now. Okay, let's see if they have anything else. They're gonna try and besiege me on Autricon pretty well. But maybe I can kill them before that happens, actually. Let me attack over here. Yeah, I thought so. Actually, Lemnon has only one family member. So perhaps, let me merge. And perhaps I can move these Bateroi over to Lugdenun. That's good. That way I can defend. This guy can leave. Can I build anything here? No, no money, no nothing. Uh, let me s just keep moving and investigating towns and such. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna go over here to the Egyptian area or the Ptolemaic's area. You've moved, you've moved. You're gonna attack here. He's probably gonna try and return there. So, yeah. But he's not gonna be, to be able to do so in just one turn. So I can take Condit on this turn. That's awesome. That will probably make them rebel. Or dead. Which is even better. Haha. <laughs> even better. Even better. Maybe I can finish off my first faction right now. If I don't have to face that army, it's just so much better. I don't know why they haven't yet besieged. And they still haven't. So they're being quite passive to something that, well, honestly, they shouldn't. There's a rebel army there. I'm seeing it, you know, on the bottom spot here. A sharp, charismatic, langurus. Well, let's go with that. Let's go with him. End of turn. Now, this army... Oh, no. It, it seemed like it was, you know, growing for some reason. But, nah. False alarm, it's not growing at all. I can attack Lemon, or, or actually Condat, and he's probably gonna lose this army. I don't know if he's gonna lose those guys, but certainly I'm gonna test it out. Yeah. Let's see for that. Let's see for our own eyes. Let's attack this uh, settlement here, Condat. Assault it. I know it's the faction leader, so it's gonna take a couple of more hits, I would say. Yeah, has a couple of Celtic Light Cavalry, some combatants. Faction leader is quite powerful. But I have way too many way too many men for him to handle, of course. And yeah, I still have a couple of reinforcements, so even if he survives, if the the if the the army that he has uh, survives, you know, if if his faction actually survives, uh, I'll still be able to do plenty of damage. Now let's do the same thing that I did on the other day, which is let's use my uh, fierce swords first. That's it. You're gonna use this over here. That's it. Now my slingers I'm gonna try to use them on this side, I guess. I guess so. I guess if I can do that. These guys who have the the other uh, javelins, I must say. These are going to be the first men to, you know, go into the fray. Mostly because they have the, those javelins. Let me stop them because sometimes they'll miss them but still, you know, try to send the, the, the javelins, you know. Like, they will try to send the javelins through the palisade, which is really not that good, so I'm gonna wait uh, and try to time it out perfectly. Now, lots of cavalry, of course, that I do have that's not gonna do anything. This was just in preparation for the other battle. Now, my slingers, can you attack them? Almost. Almost can you attack them. That's good. Can you move here? Good. And you can move here. And you can attack over there. So let's go for it. These guys, now they can start attacking these Bateroi. Mount Slingers, they're really cheap, so I'm not really worried uh, worried if if I'm gonna lose them or anything. That's it. Kill a couple of them. If they start uh, moving around, they're gonna lose a little bit more. That's it. Good! They're actually doing some good damage compared to some other units. Yeah. 
They're doing some good damage, actually. It's good. These are fierce swords, the Celtic Light Cavalry, and of course the other unit of the fast horsemen. Yeah. That's good. His leader is actually a fast horseman. Huh. Okay, these Bataroi are not going to survive for long, especially with all of these slingers attacking here. They're actually doing some good damage. Sometimes they don't do any damage at all. But this, yeah, this is good. 140 already. That's nice. That's nice. I'm attacking the wall. Good. I'm attacking that wall as well. Let me move my troops here. And you guys, you're gonna move here, actually. That's it. Now, my slingers are doing some good damage. They killed like 30 of these guys. 30, it's, it's not bad. You know, it's his best unit, so... Yeah, it's good that we're still killing a couple of them. Almost 40 right now. It's good. These fierce swords, they should hang on pretty well against my own fierce swords, of course. But not against the other fierce swords units and the other ones that I'm sending out. Cavalry, you can put yourselves here. How many are there? 114. That's nice. Yeah. You know, it's not like standard game where you can kill lots of units with just three archer units. Uh, this one requires a little bit more uh, more units than that, you know. <laughs> but still, okay, we got this one. Let me select auto fire. Let's see what they do with this. Come on. Can you attack them and can you actually do some damage there? Can you? No? Well, I, if they can, I'm not going to watch that. Huh. Not going to see that. Oh, there we go. They actually did quite some damage, I would say. Well, they killed one. Huh. They killed one, huh? And they killed maybe another one? Okay, let's just attack them. No problem. Let's just send these guys in as well. This guy... Hey, you can move over there. That's good. Run and let's fire at will, of course. My slingers are still doing some damage. 90. They almost killed all of them. That's good. You're gonna group up and kill these dudes. Spearmen are gonna kill over there. And you're gonna kill those light cavalry. That's it. Slingers, they're fine. They're doing some more damage to these Bataroi. Actually, these units, they still have a couple of shots to fire. Let's move them over there. That's it. Sphere swords, not doing too much damage. And over here, you're gonna fire on them. Come on. Send your fire, will you? There we go. 77. Let's see what my first volley does. That was nice. It did nothing. It actually did nothing at all. Come on. And now maybe they killed like one or two. Well, they didn't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna storm the halls with all of my units. So that's good. That's it. How is everything going on here? Of course the cavalry is completely overpowered, I would say. These guys are not able to send out their javelins, so no problem. No problem. How many men have I lost? 1%? He's lost 22%. That's good. These units, let me group up. Uh, the Bataroi, they're kinda, kinda screwed now, actually. Let's just move a couple of units through. That's it. Let's just move them, a couple of them, through. You know, the Bataroi, they're already wavering. When they see so many men approaching, of course they're gonna, you know, they're gonna die, let's say. Now let's start attacking them. 
They're fighting to the death immediately. They're immediately broken. 70 of them immediately broken. Awesome. That's just exactly what I needed. That's a huge advantage in terms of the, the men that I'm actually going to lose. You know. Okay. Slingers, let's attack those horsemen. Of course. Now these units, let's try to go through. You, let's try to go through as well. That's it. Let's run in. That's it. Good, good, good. Now these guys, have you killed them already? Six of them. Okay, no problem. Let's go on this side. Actually, these... These are spearmen. So these guys, they are the ones who are gonna go over here. Come on, let me move them over there. That's it, move them over here. Move them over here. Let's try and capture this place. That's it. There we go, let's divide our forces. Actually, I should be able to just start attacking them, I mean. Yep. Yeah. Let's attack this cavalry. Good. Actually, I'm, I'm glad I'm sending out these units because I'm gonna need them over there so will I need this guy that's it all of these are fine my slingers are trying to get some extra casualties there 54 he's lost half of their men keep sending these guys a little bit faster come on come on you're gonna move over there that's it oh I'm losing my, my, my men come on really don't want to do that Let's just approach my general here. Go. Run them in. And now these units should be able to deal the damage that I need. That's it. That's it. And I'm getting these guys good. Those Bateroi, they're gonna die. Four of them, they're already fighting to the death once more. Yeah, let's go for it. Now, I can just wait here because he's going to try to, you know, of course, defend his center. Or I can actually try to send... Hey, let's do that. Let's send this slinger unit all the way to the middle. That's it. You, sir, let's strike this Celtic Light Cavalry. They are spearmen, so they should be able to deal with them pretty pretty well. He's sending out his fast horsemen as well, so... All of these units, let's try to hit this fierce swords. That's it. Since they got through so much, they're probably gonna surround all of them. Which is really good. Now my spearmen, they're doing some good damage, of course. I don't know why they have the spears like that, but it's fine. They're killing them, that's that's what I need. <laughs> Especially because these are light cavalry, come on, they're never gonna hang on. Let's actually move them here. And move them here. Come on. This battery is still going on at it. Okay, there's the slingers. Over here so far, so good. Let's attack them. You guys, you're gonna attack those fast horsemen. You're killing these Celtic. That's it. Kill them all. That's it, come on. Kill all of these guys. There comes his general. 32. How many men have I lost? 10% about it. Yeah. These are shaken. They're dying, come on, they're gonna die easily. Now my slingers are approaching, they're gonna hold the middle and then I'm gonna attack over here. These dudes, let's attack the fierce swords, come on. Come on, where are my Bateroi? There we go. Kill them all, please. I don't know where these units are, but yeah, those Gallic nobles. They're trying to fight this fast horseman, actually. Yeah, let's fight it out. I'm six. 
10, 9, 6, 5, 4, 3, that's good. That's good. 2, 1, yeah, nice. We can actually attack these guys from the back now. That's good. Couple of units now, they're fleeing. That's it. He's gonna have some more troubles now. Probably run away, actually. That's good. <laughs> Let's end up the battle. Only lost 200 men on this one. That was good. That was good. And maybe the Arverni are destroyed. I don't know how it works. Maybe they are destroyed. Maybe not. But that's good. That's good for us. That's still good. So another conquest, by the way. Which is always good as well. Uh, more money, more options here. I think these uh, provinces, I'm going to make them, um, you know, not allied provinces. I'm going to make them military occupied and, yeah, just have everything there. We occupy a sec. Let's occupy the settlements. And, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> of course, these are, you know, rebels, but they're probably not going to cause too much damage to me. I merged my units now. You can actually do that. All of these uh, procedures. What is this? Spy, actually. Upkeep is really low on that regard. Maybe I can recruit another spy. Yeah, I think so. Faction destroyed the Arverni. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, you, sir. What am I going to leave here? These fierce swords. Yes, of course. I'm going to move out of there. How is this normal? It's good. How much income? A thousand and two hundred. Oh, now I'm gonna start earning some income. Uh, this dude is gonna leave that area. Or these others. Well, this this one. What is that? Some combatants. Can I join them together with this guy? I think I can. Actually, you or you. You are gonna stay there on combat. That's it. And you're gonna move in and join up. Good! Let's go for it. You are also gonna move in to Lebanon or you're gonna move to Jergovia. You're gonna move to Jergovia because I'm gonna start building up a new army here. This guy still doesn't have any command. Why is that? Grizzled. Yeah. He's commanded at least nine battles. Hmm. I built dull. That's difficult. Selfish, optimistic. Hmm. Middle aged. Rationing. Okay. National beliefs. Famous victory. Plus one command. Forced marching expert. Okay. In the pink. Minus three command when attacking. Oh. Kills with kindness. Hmm. Minus three command. Huh. This guy is really bad. Hmm. Hmm. Undisputed leader. Luganers. It's not the best faction leader that I've seen. I thought I could raise his command, but turns out I cannot actually. He's, even though he's a talented leader, he's a really poor dude. Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking what I should be doing now. Uh, most of it, most of what I'm thinking is doing this, this kind of stuff. Uh, actually, I could use this family member, you know, on the battles. And this one as well. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send out a couple of units just to defend their one way zone to you. And over here on Bibracte, yeah, I'm going to send you. And you're going to be the next the next uh, general, actually. Or you're going to be the next general. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You're going to be the next general. This guy is just going to go over to Oregon. Or you are going to go to Oregon. Don't know. I'm gonna see that on the next episode, guys. So, so far, the Arverni have been destroyed, which is awesome. 
and yeah, that that does help our uh, our position a lot. Now it's time to go over here to Patumacos and to destroy this rebel uh, army here. Of course, it's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be really difficult. I wonder if I should just go over to Patumacos first and then just gather up a couple of uh, armies. I don't know if they're gonna attack me or not, but if they are, well, then I'm gonna have to deal with them, of course. Now, not a good, not a bad thing. How many settlements do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting uh, the hang of it. Oh, I could have just checked here. Nine cities. That's good. How many turns do I have? Seasons remaining a thousand. I think I'll be fine with that. I think I'll be fine. I gotta eliminate the faction of Rome, the Arveni, the Swebi, and the boys. So it's just a matter of going on through all of, you know, Charlemagne idea. Yeah, that's about what, what I need to do. I have a lot of allies. No enemies so far. He's allied with the Epirus. He's enemies with Carthardash. I need to call Carthardash, you know, Carthage, because it's going to be the main ally that I'm going to have against Rome. So, yep. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.